Hey everybody, Derek here, here to bring you another video for The Walking Dead Season 6. And this is going to be my predictions video for the next episode of Walking Dead, which is episode 12, called Not Tomorrow Yet. Uh, it definitely seems like it's going to be a pretty exciting episode. A lot of things are probably going to happen, and I'm going to give my thoughts on those. Just a warning, this video is going to contain some extra spoilers because there was an international promo that was released through Fox International, which has extra scenes that are not in the U.S. trailer that they showed that really creates a lot of spoilers for how the episode is going to go, and I'm going to be incorporating them. So if you do not want to know what happens in this next episode, then I suggest you not watch this video because otherwise you will be spoiled. Okay. So when the last episode left off, uh, you know, the group had gone to the hilltop. They had talked with uh, Jesus and Gregory and found out about the situation from the hilltop. And Maggie was able to, you know, help to create a deal uh, with the hilltop and Gregory that Rick's group would tackle and kill the saviors uh, who have been, you know, bullying and killing many members of the Hilltop community for a while in exchange for food. Um, because the Hilltop is very rural. They're very much about farming. They have foods and crops that they can give to Rick's group in Alexandria. And they make that deal. And they take back to um, Alexandria Jesus, and I believe the guy's name is Andy, um, who was another member of the Hilltop, who went on the last, um, you know, mission to go visit the Saviors to trade, you know, food items, because that's what they do. Um, and it turns out that Ethan's brother, Craig, was taken prisoner by the Saviors, and the only way they would release him is if Ethan killed Gregory. So now we have a situation where uh, Craig is still, you know, being held by the saviors. He may be dead. He may still be alive. We don't know. And we have Rick's group uh, at Alexandria who have ba basically been tasked with uh, tackling on this problem, you know, killing the saviors. And the main part of the uh, promo and the sneak peek that they've shown have been uh, revolving around that concept. We have Rick standing up in the pulpit at church, talking with everybody. Um, you know, basically the majority of the people of Alexandria are in the room. And, you know, he's pleading his case. He's basically saying, hey, we made a deal with the Hilltop. This is the situation. Here are the saviors. You know, there's, there are these group of people that are going around. They're bullying people. They've killed people from the Hilltop. And it's pretty clear from, you know, the description from Jesus that, you know, they are ruthless. And we have heard before that the saviors usually kill people in order to, you know, reassert their dominance, to basically put people in their place and to scare them. And Rick's argument is, hey, these people are going to find us anyways, and, you know, they're going to hurt us when they come here, so why not take fight to them? They're obviously terrible people. They're obviously people that could hurt or kill us, and we need to take care of them so that way we can set up a relationship with the Hilltop and we can keep ourselves fed. And at the end of the, uh, the scene, he asks, Rick asks anybody if they have any objections, and that's where it cuts off. Well, I think that the majority of the community is going to agree to this. Um, you know, I guess it's, you know, whether it's majority rules or whether it's, you know, if a certain group of people want to be involved but other people don't, that maybe they get to sit out. I don't know the whole uh, circumstance, but it's very clear from the promo that enough people are interested in this plan to go through with something. Because we see later on in the promo, um, in the U.S. promo, that the group ends up going out outside the walls, and they stop on the road where a field is at. Now, this might be where they're planning things. This might be um, maybe target practicing. Who knows? Because we see there's a dip, there's a lot of different people that are there in that scene. There's Rick, Carol, Sasha, Rosita, Michonne, Glenn, Maggie, Keith, 
Daryl is up on the truck, and then Andy, I think, is also out there, and maybe Jesus might be there somewhere. But we also see in one scene that Gabriel is actually out there, that Gabriel has actually taken up arms and has gone out with the group. Um, and he's also seen in the international promo. So we've seen that Gabriel does at least agree to this and is willing to go through with whatever Rick wants to do. I think it shows that he has committed to the group. But I think that it might be that they've stopped outside someplace because I think the whole point of the episode, I guess it's going to be to rescue Craig. Um, it's possible that maybe there was some kind of a, you know, message, hey, when you kill Gregory, come to this uh, spot, you know, and we will trade or we will do something. Or it might be some kind of an outpost. I don't think this is going to be, you know, a full-on assault of the entire uh, compound. Because, you know, Rick and the group need to know their enemy. I mean, yes, granted, they felt very confident about, you know, going to fight. Uh, in the last episode, Daryl said, hey, you want us to fight these guys? You better believe we'll do it. But they're not dumb. And I don't think they're just going to go running into something unless they figured out some of the steps. As well as, you know, maybe there's another plan, uh, you know, that, that they're planning in the future. But I think that mostly what this episode is going to be dealing with is the group trying to rescue Craig. And I think they know where that's going to be. And I think they're going to arrive there because you see, you know, in the scenes, we see that... Um, Rick and Daryl and Abraham and Sasha and a bunch of other people are going inside of this building. Um, and they're like looking around. They're, you know, acting very, uh, covert, if you will. You know, they're trying not to, you know, make themselves known. They're really, you know, moving like some kind of armed force would, you know, some kind of military operation, army, navy, something like that. They're really moving as a unit. So it may be that they're trying to surprise somebody that is there. So I think they're trying to get the drop on some people and maybe try to see if they can capture somebody and figure a little bit more about the uh, saviors. You know, it's hard to say how much Jesus, Andy, and the rest of the people from the hilltop actually know um, about the saviors. We don't know. And I think they're as much in the dark as Rick's group is. But, you know, we have Rick convinced that we need to go out there, we need to fight, and we need to win because these are bad people. They're going to find us. They're going to hurt us. And we have a deal with the Hilltop, and it's a good deal. And it's something that we feel that we can do. Uh, other things that I think are going to go on in this episode, um, the big one is going to be Morgan. Um, you know, uh, I think that he's going to have a little bit of a part in the episode. What exactly the extent will be, I'm not sure. But when Rick asks if anybody um, objects, it was in one of the promos, either the international one or the U.S. one. I'd have to double check. But Morgan was sitting in the sneak peek, and in the next part, he's standing. And that makes me think that he's going to at least make some kind of a statement or some kind of a plea saying, guys, we should not be doing this. Why go out and kill? You know, why do this? Why take the trouble, you know, to their doorstep? Why not wait until they come here and then we can talk to them? Maybe we can figure something out. But if we do this, we're no better than they are. Or maybe he's going to make some kind of an argument crafted in that way. I don't think he's going to, you know, come out and say, well, hey, you know, all life's precious and we can't do this. You know, I think that even though Morgan believes that, it, it really is, you know, in a sense, politics. Anytime you deal with any kind of situation, it's partly about the way that you say something or the message that you are conveying. And sometimes you have to craft it in a way that you think might appeal to a bunch of people. And I think that what Morgan's going to be trying to do is try to appeal to people's, you know, humanity, but also for safety. You know, I think he's going to say, look, if we go and we do this, when they attack us, it's going to be worse. I don't think we should be doing this. But I don't know if he's necessarily going to come out and say, yo, all life is precious, we can't do this. Because I think it's pretty clear people are not necessarily gravitating towards that stance. So I think he's going to object, but whether he's going to have any other part in the episode, I'm not sure. Because I don't think I ever saw him outside of the walls in any of those other... Uh, scenes. So I think that his role is really going to remain in Alexandria 
Um, and I don't know if he's going to go around trying to convince other people not to do this or what, but I think that his role is, that's really the limit of it um, at this point from what I can see. Now, the international promo reveals a lot more stuff that's going on and might actually reveal a cliffhanger that might end up going into the next episode. Because in the international promo, we see Carol, one of the big scenes that's different is Carol is sitting in the dark outside, I think by a fire, and she has a notepad, and she's writing something in it. And if you'll look carefully, you will actually see that these are the people that she has killed. Um, you know, I was, I was kind of maybe thinking at first that maybe she was going on a scouting mission, and maybe that is the plan, and maybe she's, you know, killing time or something, but it's clear that she's off by herself, but in the, um, in one of the scenes, she is with the group. So either at that point, Carol breaks off and goes somewhere else, or it happens beforehand, and then Carol goes back to the group. So I think Carol's going to be doing something different in the episode. But you see her actually sitting there by the firelight, and she's writing down little notes. And at the top it says E, and I think that's for Ed, because in season one, Carol um, hit Ed's uh, you know dead body to prevent it from coming back as a walker. Then you see KD, and that stands for Karen and David. Then you see L, and that would be for Lizzie. You see Terminus, and she says three question mark. Then you see Candle Woman, that would be Mary. Um, uh, it would be Gareth's mother, who she, you know, wounded in the knee and then opened the door and let the uh, walkers eat her. So a lot of people will consider that as, you know, she directly led to that death. And then she put Wolves 7. So we see that she's writing down the list of people that she's killed. And then you see her looking down and, you know, putting her hand in, putting, putting her head in her hand. And, you know, either, I don't know if she's going to cry or if she's just going to be like, wow, like just so, you know, astounded at, you know, how much she's actually killed since this has started. But, you know, this might be a little bit of a sign for Carol. You know, this might be her, you know, really confronting this possibility of, wow, I've killed a lot of people. Can I continue to do this? Has some of what Morgan has been saying rubbed off on me? Has she found out about Sam? Well, obviously she's found out that Sam's died. But has she found that picture? Does she know what she's done? Is she going to write more on that list? I'm not sure. And it really makes me wonder if they're going to delve into that a little more. Because what happens then is, while it's still dark outside, Maggie comes up to her. And Carol turns around and says, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be someone else. And I don't know if Carol is saying that because somebody else was supposed to meet with her, if she's concerned about um, Maggie's safety because Maggie's pregnant. She doesn't want her putting herself at risk. So like I said, I think Carol's doing something else. And it might be that she was sent out to, you know, scout out the area and find out how many people are there, something like that. There's a lot of possibilities with what she's doing. Um, but what happens is the very last scene Rick and the group have taken at least one savior hostage. Um, you know, th there's this guy laying on the ground, his nose is bleeding, they got guns on him. So it's clear they've, you know, gone into the area. Then you hear over the walkie-talkie, um, we've got a Carol and we've got a Maggie. Uh, you know, and I think that's something that you guys would be a little concerned about and might want to talk about. And it's a woman's voice. So it makes me think that some female saviors have taken Carol and Maggie hostage and maybe, you know, they might take the both of them back. They might negotiate some kind of a trade. Um, you know, who knows? But I definitely think that there's some big things going on there. And it's pretty clear that at some point Carol and Maggie will be taken hostage by 
um, the saviors. And that could lead to some terrible things leading down the road. I mean, this may uh, lead to some kind of a you know, hostage trade. It might end up leading to some of the events that might get some people killed. Um, you know, that maybe they do take them back and Rick and the group are then planning to, you know, try to rescue them. But the way that they're doing it is so reckless that they might end up getting themselves killed or, you know, something like that. Um, you know, because this is, you know, Glenn's wife, uh, Maggie. And then, of course, this is, you know, Carol, somebody who's been with the group since the beginning, someone that Daryl cares a lot about. And, you know, when you have those kind of interests being, you know, exploited, that can really lead to some dangerous, you know, planning that might end up getting people hurt. So I'm very interested to see where that will lead. But I think that might not be dealt with until the 13th episode. But that is what the international promo said. And I'm very interested to see what will happen in this episode. But definitely a lot of interesting things uh, appear to be coming in this episode. And I can't wait to find out. So with that, I'm going to bring this video to a close. I want to thank all of you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, don't be afraid to leave them. Feel free to subscribe. I do have more videos coming. And if you have any suggestions for future videos that you would like to see, don't be afraid to suggest them. Have a very wonderful evening, and thank you very much for watching.